I have discovered the coolest trick in Canva to create a gamified spinner. Check this out. I am on the Canva homepage and I am going to search spinning wheel. And when I click spinning wheel, there's lots of spinning wheels here, but this right here is what I want to show you. And this is an icebreaker activity game presentation created by Design to Bless. So thank you, Design to Bless, for this incredible aha moment today. So I'm going to go ahead and click on customize this template. And I want to show you the magic behind this. So when you see this presentation template, you'll see that there's a home page. This has been created to be a let's get to know each other better spinning activity, it's giving you wheels. And then you just see a multiple wheels here. We see a spin, we see a stop, we see a spin or a next, and then a spin, stop, et cetera. So I want you to see what happens when I go in to present mode here. I will click spin and look what happens. The wheel spins. I click stop and looks what look what happens. It stops. I go to the next, I spin. When I'm ready to stop it, I stop. It lands on a different color. Amazing, right? So I had to dig a little deeper and figure out how this was put together because my game of fight heart was so excited when I saw this. So I'm gonna back out of the presentation. I'm gonna show you something. When I go to this first page and I click around, there's nothing happening here. There's nothing attached to this spinner because really what's, when I click on spin on this page, when I'm in present mode, it's just basically like what would happen. It's just going to the next page. It's just like you're clicking your mouse or your, um, your clicker to go to the next page in the presentation. However, this is where the magic happens. When I am on the page that has the stop button, Look what happens when I click on the spinner. Up here, rotate has been activated, which means that there is an animation in effect and the rotate motion effect has been applied. So what it's really doing is we have on the stop page, the motion effect of rotate happening so when I go in to presentation mode, basically when I click stop, what's happening is it is stopping that motion and it is landing on that next page. So I wanna show you something because there's a little bit of magic happening here that we don't notice when we are clicking forward, but if we pay really close attention, we realize that there's something at play in here that's appearing like it's stopping randomly, but it's really not. So I want to look at this closely as I'm going into present mode. I click spin, it's going to the next page where that rotate animation has been applied. Now it's going to appear that when I click again on stop, that it's stopping where, when I've stopped the clicker. So let's see what happens. I click next and it goes to this, tell us your favorite hobby page, but let's back out and see what happens back here. We can see that this page just has it pointing here. So it's looking like when we click the page, it's moving to that spot. But really, that has already been decided before we spun, okay? So let's try that again and see what happens if we spin again. I'm gonna go back into present mode. I'm gonna click stop and there it goes. It lands on that page. So it's already been predetermined it's going to land on that spot. So what's happened here in the background is that there are a series of three pages, the spin page, the stop page, and the next page. The next page is the predetermined spot it's going to land on. But there's been a series of these built in. So if I go to page six 
and go through that full series again. I spin it, I stop it. The next page is going to have that predetermined spot where that spinner is going to land. So when I go to page eight, I see that that is where it's going to land. So from somebody who is participating in this, it just looks like you are spinning and stopping and spinning and stopping. But in the back end, you have these series of three slides that are kind of predetermining where you land on that spinning wheel. So again, you have the spin page, you have the stop page, and you have the next page. So this opens up my mind to so many different possibilities when I think about the gamified classroom and how we could use this for writing prompts, how we could use this for get to know you activities. We could use it across subject areas, across grade levels. And then you could go in here and you can make your own. So if you go went in and you found this template, you could delete this guy if you want. You could put in a character. You could put on in your own avatar that you've created. Have fun with this and make sure to share out the ways that you are gamifying your classroom and using this spinning wheel to create magical learning experiences for your students.